All right, and we are live, and we have finally reached our fourth episode on our bi-weekly quadcast, or at least it's supposed to be bi-weekly. Uh, I swear, like, I think it's been like a month since our last quadcast episode. It's just been, things have gotten in the way, I guess you can say, so it's just kind of had this wall, and it's kind of been awkward where I'm like, okay, we're going to do it this Saturday, but then I end up either having to cancel because I was trying to prep for my trip to Japan near the, uh, I think it was like two weeks ago or so. Um, and then another time before that, um, I just had a cancel or uh, I forget what it was. Or I, Oh, my, my friend was not available at the time. That's what it was because we normally do our quadcast with JJK. Um, but today I only need to just have myself here. Um, I want to put the focus on just uh, me giving you guys instructions on how to properly step a song for in the groove. Uh, this is a common thing that people ask me is just, oh, hey, how do you get something set up like this? Uh, it seems so stressful and overwhelming, and I really don't know where to begin. Um, so with this said, I need to first check and see what's going on here since this is not a YouTube pre-recorded video. We're actually live, so it's always smart to interact with my fellow peeps here. So we got a brute saying, yo, hope all is well. What's going on, man? Shadow Wolf, yeah, boy. <laughs> Welcome back, Shadow Wolf. Minty Royal, Royal, watching Happy Feats and the 8-Bit Drummer at the same time. Best day ever. That's awesome, man. I, I'm touched. Thank you. I'm really glad that it's it's entertaining for, for you to be able to watch me. Thank you so much. Um, you have McDonald's on top of that. Nice. That's always nice. Eco Pixie, me too. Oh, you got... You got Wait, Eco, you got McDonald's, or are you watching me and the 8-Bit Drummer at the same time? Or just both? One True Jellyfish is in here. Hello, Mr. Arizona boy. Shadow Wolf, it's okay, Seth. Iron Nougats, yo, hey, he made it. And we're actually here doing a quadcast. Um, and unlike the other previous quadcasts, it's not going to be stuck on the still image that we normally have. Uh, as you probably already noticed, we've got the lovely image of May here, and you can see me and it's our regular layout for when we're indoors. That's because I obviously need to be able to display uh, the stepping process, and I'm gonna have like uh, some art, uh, not articles, like a forum up that gives you a little bit of a guideline on some stuff that's sync related for creating your own step chart. Um, oh, 8-Bit, nice, Eco, nice. Well, thank you, thank you for watching us both, that's awesome. Just got back from a two hour ride, perfect timing, awesome, Jellyfish. Awesome, awesome, okay. So, how to create a step chart for in the groove. There are um, a lot of factors and a lot of steps you need to follow. Uh, I'm going to do my best to make it as simplistic as possible. Uh, if any of you guys have questions along the way, please feel free to ask me. Um, and with that said, let's just jump into it. So, what is a step chart? That's the first thing we should ask. A step chart is basically when you take a song and you create your own arrows to that song with the music. Um, the way that this is done and achieved is by having a folder. You just create a folder on your desktop like so. You just go new, folder, and you're going to title it whatever the name of the song is. I mean, this can obviously be broken rule. People put like, you know, the edgy stuff like... If a, like as a joke chart, for example, they'll do like elite game over, you know, silly stuff like that. I, I totally spelled that wrong. Rip me. Um, but you get the idea. This is where your title of your song goes. You create a folder and inside this folder, you're going to have two things. Um, you're going to have your OGG file, some uh, versions of step mania, uh, allow mp3 i think sm5 and higher correct me if i'm wrong and i think open itg allows mp3 as well but the standard um thing that you should be doing is always convert or format it as ogg uh there's plenty of programs that do this such as audacity which i'll pop open right here this little doodle it's completely free uh you just drag the file in here and you can cut it, you can do all this other magical stuff with the effects, look at all these options. There's tons of stuff you can do on here, but uh, you basically wanna use this for cutting and also to export the audio as OGG. 
because most cabinets for in the groove um, and most programs that run Stepmania uh, do not support MP3. Um, and it's too inconsistent across different, you know, uh, platforms that people are using. So OGG is global. Um, okay, the next thing you need is an SM file. Now, inside this, you basically can open these up with a notepad. So if you have this file and you're trying to open it on your computer and it's not able to open, uh, all you got to do is basically tell Windows to open it with a notepad. And you just look it up here and always make it open it up with notepad, wordpad, whatever you want to use. Um, okay, now, inside the SM file is all this stuff here. You got all this information here. Um, what I do is once I pick out my OGG and I've cut it and I've got my song that I want to create the step chart to and it's inside this folder and I've got the SM in here, I'll pop it open uh, and I will right here you see title. You just simply highlight this. Yeah, basically what I do is I I, I go inside my, uh, my Stepmania list of uh, packs right here as you can see these are all my packs and I just go inside uh, say I'm stepping a song for best of happy feet I go inside here and I'm going to select uh, a already existing step chart and I will just control C this to copy it or just right click and go to copy and then I will paste it inside where I want the new step chart that I'm about to create okay so we're gonna pretend that we just did that with this here okay and just say this, the title is different because you copied it. You're copying the previous thing you already stepped. And then all you're doing is just replacing it. So that's all it is. So let's just say it's a Geha. And that's your title. So when you go inside your uh, Step Mania program, you're going to find the song that you just added. And it's going to be titled that. Simple as that, right? Uh, subtitle goes here. Um, this is basically if you want to put parentheses. And like if it's like, for example, say it's a Darren Styles remix this is where this would go basically you don't want to put this uh this part of it with the title i know it's kind of weird it's considered a subtitle um or there's like a thing that says like well actually that would go where artist is i'm sorry i'll get ahead getting way too far ahead here um so that's basically what the title and subtitle is for um if you put the the parentheses with the so-and-so remix on the title it kind of gets really stretched out and really thin and hard to see um, so it's better to have it under the subtitle and always in parentheses or brackets or whatever you prefer. Um, okay, let me check over here really quick and see some of these comments here. We got Shadow Wolf, that dramatic black and white face cam. No, I know, I know. I need to really fix it. It's, <laughs> it looks so edgy. Lord Omega, hey Seth Roni, what's up, man? Iron Nougats, oh shit, it's a gay weave. Oh, it's <laughs> Jason, poor Jason. Uh, he's like, that's me, he accepts it. I thought I was the only one that copy-pasted an existing... SM file to a new song. Nope, you're not alone. It's very common to do. V raising style V2. Yep, that's a good example right there, new kids. <laughs> that song. Okay. Uh, you know, honestly though, uh, title translate and subtitle trans translate. I have no idea what these are. I've never touched them. They're honestly, I don't think there's any use for these. Same with the artist translate. Uh, credit. You're not gonna see this pop up as far as I know on the actual uh, program, but some people will put their name there. So you can either use your nickname, like so, or you, some people actually put their uh, initial, like, be a bear, Brandon a bear, calling you out, Pope. <laughs> then banner, uh, this is where, okay, this is a little tricky. How do I, I'm trying to think of the original way people did this. Okay, so I think the best way to do this is to say, um, for me, the way I do it is, so if you have individual um, images for each song um, like this, so let's go inside. Who's a good person to use as a reference here? I would say Mute because he does this with every single step chart. So you go inside here, right? See how he has these two uh, pictures here? Um, if you have uh, unique artwork for each step chart you're making, your images will go in there in the same folder. Uh, and you need to title it whatever you like he named it after the song so he put 8-bit trip and then a dash and then bg as well oh my god it's echoing again i'm gonna get wrecked crepper gamer what's up 
Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the Penguin Squad. Sorry about that echo. And now everyone's going to start bombarding me with those bits. I swear, if you guys do this, I'm, I, I will mute it. I swear. The whole entire podcast is just going to be that. And everyone who goes and watches this, if they miss it on YouTube, they're just going to deal with, with the echo. I'm so sorry. I, I really need to figure that out. You know what? Can I? Can I do this? No, it's like, it doesn't make any sense. Oh, man. You can't hear it. Really? Well, good. I don't, I don't want you to hear it. That's, that's good. What's up, Grace? How's it going? Okay, anyway. So, you have two image files. You have the BG and the BN. Uh, it just stands for background and banner. Uh, now, the size for these, the, the standard size for background is 800 by 600. And the standard size for the banner is 418 by 164. Nehel, oh God, I'm going to pronounce this. Nehem, Nehemiah Judson. <laughs> I'm so sorry if I said that wrong. I probably did. It's Thank you for the follow. Clover Wolf, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Penguin Squad, everybody. What's up with all these followers? They're coming in. Silent but deadly. Can You, you guys can't hear it? Oh, interesting. Yeah, I can hear it. It's echoing hard. Um, maybe it's a good thing you guys can't hear it then. Um, but you know what? I actually, I'm going to need you to hear the audio for the game. Right, Tack, thank you so much for the host. Okay. Now you can probably hear it. But I still don't like that it's extra alerty. Um, where, where is it? Where? I'm not, I, I can't deal with this. I, I'm going to have to leave it be. I'm sorry in advance. Please forgive me. Okay. So that's it for the images. Um, obviously, you can use whatever software you want so you can crop it and create your own images. Not going to get that detailed. <laughs> We're just going to try to focus on how to create the step charts. Um, so anyway, if you want this to appear, though, on the step chart when you're playing it and selecting it, because this is going to show up. This one will show up uh, where as you're scrolling through songs and it has a little preview of the image. That's where this one goes. That's the banner. And then when you pick the song, in the background is where the background image goes. Makes sense, right? Uh, so when you want those to appear properly, you need to put the title of the image here. For banner, he put a bit trip dash bn for banner dot png. And you do need to put the type of file, and it does need to be png. So again, for reference, your music files always need to be ogg, and your image files, they always need to be png. And then for the background, Section here, same thing, 8bittrip-bg.png. And uh, before your, your title of whatever you're putting in any of these columns here, there's always a colon and then a semicolon to cut it off. And lyrics path, uh, I, no one uses lyrics anymore. The CD title, I don't see the point in it. I, I never use this, but he put a CD title there. Some people do, some people don't. Uh, and then music. So that the uh, SM file can detect what audio file you want to use, you need to put the title of whatever it is here. Um, then after that, the offset, which we'll, we'll get into that. That's inside the um, actual gameplay. Sample start, that's where what, in what specific second of the song do you want to play as soon as someone hovers over the song so that they can listen to it. That's what this part here is for. And then right under that, sample, sample length is how long do you want it to last until it fades out and then loops it again. Um, you can detect that through Audacity too. When you go inside of it, you can find the exact part you want. Um, and also on uh, inside the program, which I'll show you as well. Um, display BPM, uh, say that you have, look at, see here how he's got uh, some BPM changing right here because the song actually drips. It's not a consistent BPM, but if he, uh, didn't put this display BPM. This is an additional line of code that you have to put. Um, I, at this point, I've memorized it. It's pretty simple, but hashtag, all caps, all one word, display BPM, colon, and then you show, you type in what BPM you want to show when it's being selected on the, the scroll menu. It'll say BPM, and then whatever you put in there is what the BPM is going to be displayed as. So that avoids it. So we're like, if the song drifts, so you got gimmicks in it, and it's going from like 30 BPM to 2,000 BPM, you don't want it to say 30 to 2,000 because then someone picks it and they're looking at it like, what the hell? Like, what C mod do I use? Or, sorry, what X mod or M mod do I use? C mod wouldn't be affected by that. But 
it's always best to do that. Uh, stops, this, again, automatically gets filled in. Same with BPMs. When you're actually editing and adding stops or not doing stops, he had no stops in this particular chart. So there's not going to be any uh, stops that will pop up here. Expand on. Welcome to the Penguin Squad. You guys, can you hear that one? Did you hear that one? Did you hear the echo? Um, looking at other things. BG changes. No one really does this. Um, and I myself don't even know how to do it, but you can actually make it where background will change. Uh, key sounds, don't even know what that's for. And then everything below here, all of this, these are all the measures. And in each measure, you can see like zeros and ones. And these are where your steps are going. But this, again, you're not, you don't have to go in here and type zero one. That all gets automatically filled out when you're doing it. X Pariah, what's up? Mr. First comment on YouTube. Don expanded. <laughs> okay, uh, the last part is normally this will be blank. Or it might even literally just say blank. This is where you put your credit at because when you're going on the menu on Simply Love theme, it'll show the artist, and I'll, sh I'll point it uh, point to it when we get the program open. But so here, this is where you would put Happy Feet. Happy you Feet. <laughs> I was in Japan too long. Happy Feet. And then also you put it here, right above where it says Challenge or whatever the name of the chart is that you're doing, depending on the difficulty you put happy feet as well. But this is Mute's chart, so for him, just put Mute. You gotta put it on both of those spots though, just remember that. Um, this is the type of chart it is, it's a dance single, there's dance double and all that stuff. Um, all these numbers here don't matter, the only things that matter is the difficulty, which you can put right here. So you can put literally 89 or just 13 or whatever it is that you feel like it's it should be properly rated. And that's pretty much the gif of all of the information on an SM uh, file. That's how it all works. So the the numbers and letters, all the complicated stuff, um, all of the paper stuff outside of actually making a chart has been explained now. So what we're going to do now is we're going to open up OpenITG and I'm going to go inside the edit menu for a step chart and we'll give you a guide, a step-by-step -step guide on uh, how to get it all set up. And then from there, I'm just going to give you some pointers and tips on things you should do, shouldn't do, um, just some ground rules and basic 101 stuff for how to create a step chart with like proper patterns and all that kind of stuff. Um, now, please remember and please note that this is a, it's very, very uh, subjective. That's the biggest thing about all this is um, there are rules to follow that should be like, yes, these are must haves, essentials that you really need to follow. Um, and if you don't, it can come out, it can, it'll end up being a bad uh, step chart that most people, like 99% of people are gonna agree on that. Um, but uh, after that, there's a lot of things where it's just, it's very subjective. Uh, it's, it's very, for person to person, you'll get different opinions. Um, for example, there's many people who don't like my charts and they think they're poorly made. Um, they just don't like the style of them and that's fine. Um, and then I feel the same way with a lot of other charts that I've seen where I, I think, um, it's just not my style. I don't like the way that they uh, approached it. Um, but that again, that doesn't mean it's bad. It just means it's not my style. And that's the beauty of creating step charts is we have such a large community who has different variety and different ways of approaching, um, of stepping a song. And it makes it so creative and really cool. And that's why I'm here to try to teach you guys and help you guys so that uh, you too can possibly get into creating your own step charts. And have a lot of fun with it and contribute more to the community and just make it a lot more enjoyable for people. Okay, so we're gonna open this up. Once you're inside, you're gonna go down to edit mode. And on the top here, you see there's group. Uh, this is where the packs are. So example, I've stepped an annoying rain tone pack. That's the name of it. That's the name of the artist. Um, I contributed an entire pack dedicated to all his songs or most of his songs. And then down below here, you've got the song tab. Um, you just navigate with up and down, pretty straightforward. And then left and right, just to go through the songs or just the packs, depending on which tab you're on. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go, actually, I think I, I, I messed up here, fam. Yeah, I did, whoops, ripped me. Bro, we need to go, uh, we're gonna right click on our uh, program on our desktop and you go to open file location. This is kind of an important note. This is how you get the files into the program. I missed this one. Uh, you just click right here on the title, right behind program, open ITG for this instance. We go to songs. And for the, the songs I've got here, these are the four, these are all Twitch requests actually through our subscription. 
uh, perk. And I've got them all organized and set up as far as the stuff on paper goes, the OGG, the SM file, that's all organized. Um, these are gonna go inside Twitch requests version three. We're gonna drag these inside that pack with the songs. And that's all you gotta do to get it inside. And once you load up the game, they should be in there. If they are not, the chances are you put them accidentally into the category where the packs are and not the actual songs, or you put them inside a songs folder and it's just like this endless, like they're just stuck there. And you're like, oh, where'd they go? All right, so we're gonna go down. It's all alphabetized, thankfully. Twitch. Twitch request version three is where we put these. Um, and they're all alphabetized. Ooh, look at that. I, I have two lovely lovelies. That means that one of these in here got titled lovely lovely. Even if this all says this, is it's all that it doesn't care about that. It cares about this. So that it's not that one. Um what was the other ones? It was uh continue game over. Boba Beach was another one. Okay, it's not that one. That's two out of four. And we were going down more. Happy little just a little late night. Lovely, lovely, lovely is obviously going to be called that. That's correct. Can you imagine if it wasn't? It's like, what? Uh, and then after that, there was one more. Smile at Wind. I think it's this one. Yeah, see? There we go. So even though it's titled over here, Smile at Wind, the title here is Lovely, Lovely, Lovely. So that's incorrect. We just got to refix that. Smile at Wind. And then we're just going to control S 80 times to make sure it saves. Um, however, I do think... I think I need to uh, delete the cache. We'll see. We'll see what happens. That's another thing that we need to mention too. Because once it loads, whatever you put in, if uh, you change something in it, you might need to delete the cache to refresh it. But let's take a look. Twitch. Twitch request. Did we, did we get it? No. See that? See how they're both the same still, even after we changed it? Um, so, yeah, this is a really funky thing. I, I don't know if this happens in Step Mania, though. Um, it does happen in open ICG for sure. It's kind of like a bug. So smile at wind watch. I think it might change it back. No, it's fine. See how it's changed, right? And it, you're like, why didn't it change in the game? That's because the cache stores it. And it's kind of a weird thing to explain, but basically all you need to do is delete this folder called cache. It's with the rest of these where songs, themes, packages, note skins. When you see all that, you see a folder there called cache and you're totally fine. If you delete it, it just takes a little while to load back up the game because now it has to basically re-memorize the songs and packs and that you have in your game so it's gonna do it from the scratch when you have the cache built you can you saw earlier that it booted up really fast so in the meantime while that's loading i am going to catch up on some comments here and then i also need to turn on a light give me a second here okay good lovely lovely cubed what's up dosser lx how's it going welcome what are nougat patterns? Long trills? No nougat steps zero out of 10, Kappa. Back to black and white. Yep, Skimpy. Also, hello. What's going on? Uh, okay, let me move this down a little bit. Oh, doing pretty good, Happy. I'm doing good, man. Doing really good. Oh, you just reminded me. I got to give you some praise, man. So if you, the, if you guys didn't see on my Twitter or Discord, um, our good friend Do Dosser LX actually donated $500 to me um, the other day. And I, I'm still like shook over it. <laughs> I'm just like so thrown off. Like it, it totally caught me off guard. The guy's awesome. He's super nice. I have yet to meet this guy. I really want to meet you though, Roy. You're really, really nice. Thank you so much. I, I, I can't thank you enough. It is very nice of you. You didn't have to do that. Um, your support alone just from watching is already the world to me. But the fact that you went, you just went ahead and did that is very generous of you. Thank you so much. Yo, what's up, Roy or Rust? I just keep, I've got Roy stuck in my head now. Roy's our boy. There you go, Skimpy. <laughs> Thank you, Base Dosser. He's actually our highest donator now. He's got the world record. Whoop. Awesome. And he's actually in the, the Penguin Hall of Fame down below in the panels on the very top two for our top donator. So congratulations to you, Roy. <laughs> you won. I noticed recently the sounds don't work in SM5 for me. I like the scrolling and menu sounds. I don't know what happened. Green stick, cat fracture. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Penguin Squad. 
I apologize for the echo. God, I think it's like per scene because I have multiple scenes in OBS. I think we fixed it for ITG and pump it up, but I don't think Gabe remembered to look at the the indoor scenes that we have or preset. So that's my bad. I'm sorry. Echo Pixie gives us the heart. After meeting Chris Trike, meeting you will, be, will complete my ITG meetup dream. Well, it's going to happen. I promise you. Um, if you're ever in California, Southern California, mind you, uh, please, please contact me. You're, you're more than welcome to come over. We're very open here. As long as you respect our home and respect me and my wife, you're welcome over here anytime. We have people come over all the time. As a matter of fact, I've got two people in the garage playing Pump It Up right now. And uh, I got four more people coming over later. Um, we're always dancing and always just hanging out here. So it's, it's always nice um, to have new people over, especially. So I hope that one day you can come on over here and hang out and play with me and just talk about all the deep stuff in the ITG and dance game communities and maybe even collab on a, a pack maybe in the future. That'd be pretty cool. Because Dosser LX actually does step. He's actually the person behind sexuality violation one, two, and three. And... Uh, crossover spectrum series i think there's three of those too really cool guy i've talked to him a lot online we've stayed in touch for a while and he's just a really good guy you can tell that he's a very open and own i say open open and honest holy shit clip that open and honest that's the new way to say open and honest person <laughs> holy shit I can't talk today. Okay, so OYTG is still trying to load. It's in the O's right now. It's getting there. In the meantime, this this uh, quadcast was brought to you by Hot Tamales. Be sure to get your Hot Tamales in, fam. SV memes. What's up, Rytac? How's it going, man? Play some Rocket League? Oh, my God. Skimpy. You know what Lucille Ball does to me. It's close enough. Man, I'm a little bummed that I didn't make it inside the uh, top 500 for Lucille Ball, but hey, you can't win them all, right? Like, at least we made it in Grandmaster. Now I need to actually do that with normal competitive Overwatch. Come on, Open ITG, you're almost there. Keep going, little fella. This is going to be funny for the people who didn't uh, watch this live. And they're just watching this on YouTube right now. They're just seeing like, Wait, I want to learn how to step charts. Why is he talking about Overwatch? Like, fam, I know. I'm sorry. I didn't. I didn't plan on the cache to have to be deleted. Oh, someone did it. Nougats did it. You son of a bitch. You clipped me. How is everything? How's everyone today? We're all doing good here. We're all just chilling, right, Tack? You've been grinding Rocket League recently. My roommate does it all the time. But actually, my roommate got so mad once. He took a big glass jar, walked outside in our backyard, and he threw it down on the floor so hard, it literally just vanquished. It just, it, it, it disappeared into nothing. It was just gone. Like, there was not any glass on the floor. That's how hard he threw it. It was so funny. It was the funniest thing ever. You can always provide timestamps. That's true. That's true. Um, our podcast streams, yeah, it was Urban Omega. Of course, of course. Um, our podcast streams are usually an hour long only, so, um, that's probably what's going to be because I don't want it to go super long because I have to make it, um, or I have to, uh, you know, highlight it and move it over to YouTube and I don't want the video to be super long because then people were just like, I'm not going to sit here and watch this. This is over an hour long. Like what the hell? So I, I, I feel them. I feel, I feel the YouTube side. I love raging and seeing people rage. You'll see me rage if you play, if you see me play Lucio Ball. I think I... I did one stream where I was raging, but even then I was like having to keep like my character still on for Twitch. I was just like, aha, yeah, it's how funny I lost, <laughs> but off, off camera. Oh my God. <laughs> it's so bad. All right. So we're back in the game here. Can would it work? Yay. Look, I only got one now. Okay. So now that you've got your SM file. In the game, the next thing you gotta do is you're gonna take the expert or whatever difficulty you wanna step. That's what this, these categories, I forgot to go over that. We did groups here, which is your folders of packs. These are the names of your songs. This is the type of chart. You can do single or double or solo, which I don't think anyone ever uses. 
So single for us. And for steps, you got novice, which is beginner, obviously, easy, medium, hard, and expert, and also edit. Uh, expert is the standard that people use, unless you want to make an easier chart. It's all preference. Um, and then the number next to here is the difficulty, which is 11 for now. You can change that. Uh, and then you go to edit or you can delete it. Um, so the other thing too, just to note, is if you have a chart that's blank, you can see that there's these extra tabs that are popping up here now. See that? So what these are is you can fill it. So you can take the hard chart and I can make it copy and cre create it with the existing expert chart in there. So say you make an expert chart and then you want to make a hard but it's basically the same as the expert chart, but minus a couple of 16th note runs or a little bit of modification to make it simpler, you can do it that way. So you don't have to manually put it all back in, uh, save you a lot of time. But we're gonna start from scratch. We don't have an expert on this because we all we did was we copied the SM folder uh, from a previous chart that existed. So you're gonna see steps in here that don't make sense if you play the music. See how it's offbeat? You're like, what the hell is this? Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna explain. Oh man, this is gonna be so complicated because I'm like trying to break this down for you guys because I like do everything so naturally, like all the navigation and stuff like this, and people are gonna be like, what the hell? Okay, so what you have here are these numbers, right? Uh, this is a lot of this is music theory. Oh boy. So. All right, these numbers, one, two, three, four, these are your measure counters. I think the first thing we need to do is uh, figure out the BPM of our song, and that's beats per minute, in case you didn't know. And I will show you how to do this, or at least how I do it. Some people use software to detect the BPM of a song. Uh, after so long, and the more you practice through experience, you will figure out BPM uh, pretty quickly. So I'll give you an example. So let's listen. Let me listen really quick and let's see if I can get the BPM. That sounds like 170 BPM. So, okay, I'm see, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm not explaining this stuff. Okay, so if you hit escape, you have all this stuff here, this entire menu of stuff here. Okay, if you wanna change the BPM, uh, which is this little red thing right here. This is our BPM. You just need to go where it's at, which this is on the very top. Because if I go here, if I go down one, and I hit edit BPM, and hit backspace and just type in the BPM, see how it added a new one? That's because I went down. Wherever the hearts are at, on whichever line, is where you're gonna put a BPM. So we need to get rid of that. Uh-oh, uh-oh, did I kill it? Oh God, okay, no, we're good. I hit the wrong button. Oops, okay, add a BPM. So it's 192, right, before that. So if we put that in, watch. See how it's gone now? That's how you get rid of it. So we're gonna go up here on the top, and I think it's 170-ish BPM. So I'm gonna put 170 as my, my ground start, okay? Angry feats, oh no. You got a video of me being angry. Oh no, Dosser. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I won't link YouTube. Uh, on the chat because people were spamming it before. Sorry about that. My bad. This new channel. Wait, is it too loud, guys? Is that the problem? Oh, no, no, no. It's a little quiet, actually. Let's turn up a little bit. Okay. First of all, uh, I'm going to delete what I have here. Um, all you do is you hit space. And if you go down, however far you go down, you hit space again. You see how it's red? It's highlighting a section of the step chart. You hit P to play. And it'll only play that section I highlighted there, as you saw. So if I hit space and then I hit end on my keyboard, it'll take me to the final step of the chart that is in place. And then you go down and hit space and then see it just highlighted all of it. Then if you hit enter, you'll have this whole other menu here. And if you hit cut, enter right here. So you can move down. If you just go up and hit cut with enter, now our step chart is gone. There's no steps at all. If you hit home, it always takes you back up to the top. Um, if you hit page down with the down arrow, if you, hit, if you hold tab and you hit down, it speeds it up versus not holding tab versus tab. And then same for up. And 
to make it even faster, you can even hold tab and down with page down. Or up, tab, page up. This lets you like scroll through it way faster instead of just holding down. Look how slow that is versus this. So that's how you navigate on your step chart. Okay. And again, space, pick a section that'll play if you hit P. Because if you don't have a section and you just hit P, it'll play the whole entire song. So that's how you do that. Oh, Henrik345. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Penguin Squad. Again, sorry for the echo. Please forgive me. All of those are so funny to listen to. It's all good. Post the YouTube link in the Discord under memes. Oh, God. <laughs> Random question. How do you make the programs look like that in your taskbar? When I have things open, it just shows the icon. Hmm. Can you specify exactly what you mean by that? Um, Grace, I'm, I'm kind of confused on the question. How do you make the programs look like that in your taskbar? I, I'm trying to, f to find what you mean. You mean the Simply Love thing down here? Yo, how do you say your name? I'm so sorry. Horizon? Is it Horizon? Did I get it right? Did I say someone's name right? Horizon, you follow? Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the Penguin Squad. Love you. All right. So we think it's 170 BPM. Like Windows 10 on the bottom. This part? This just, it just pops. Up. That's just how it came for me. I think it's because I have Simply Love theme, though. That does matter. Um, and I also, uh, what, this part here? On the desktop? Yeah, it's a, it's a Windows thing. Okay, so we think it's 170 BPM. So we're going to take a listen here. Now, here's the other thing. Do you see how our song... Oh, there it is. He followed. Welcome. You see how it's starting? The music starts before it even hits measure one. The other thing, too, is if you have a way of um, reading uh, step charts, you hit escape and you go to play playback modifier. And there you go. You're in your menu here. So I'm gonna put the stuff that I prefer to have, and now it'll play it like that. But see how it's playing before measure one even comes up? I don't want that. So the way to move the, oh, what's it called? The offset of your song is all you do is you, if you hit F11 and F12, you won't hear a sound. But if you look over here, do you see how it's changing? And down here, beat offset. This is, if it's negative, that means it's going to start way sooner. If it's positive, it's going to start way later. So let's move it up a bit. Now let's hit play. Now watch where it starts. See how it started after? I always prefer to make my song start right at measure two. Unless it has a really long fade in, then I'll let it start super early um, and let it come in around measure nine or so. It kind of depends. But if the song starts right away, on the beat, I like to start it at measure two. Uh, this is because if you start a step chart on measure one uh, or zero for step menu five, uh, and you want to start the step chart right at the beginning, it's going to be really hard because it's going to catch people off guard when they go into the song and it fades in. It's going to start like right off the bat. Uh, most of the time, you want to avoid putting a step on the first sound that you hear on a song. Now, I am a very big hypocrite when I say that because I do that a lot, but this is why I like to start it on measure two because if you're going to do that, it should start here, okay? Now, let's. what we're trying to do now is use F11 and F12 to manipulate it to get to start on measure two, okay? So that's what I'm going to do right now. Okay, so it's starting too early. So if you hit F12, it'll delay it, okay? But now it's start a little bit after two, as you saw. Let's watch again. So it's really close. So let's hit 11 a couple times. Okay, sounds like it's around the dot. So what I do is I just add a couple of quarter note arrows, which is the red hearts. So you can see right here, if you hit left and right, it'll change it. These are quarter notes. Blue is eighth notes, okay? And then green is 16th notes. And it actually, if you forget all this for some reason, it's right here. See this part, 12th notes. 8th notes, 16th, 24th, 32nd, 48th, 64th, 192nd. That's what all the colors mean. And if you'll tab, when you go left or right, it'll speed it up as well. Okay, so we're going to put a handful of quarter notes because we want to get the beat and see if we're correct here. Alrighty. So, let me catch up on some comments here really quick. Oh, snap, it's, it's my choice. I came in, uh, into the stream just in the nick of time. What's up, Zanzibar? Welcome. 
your happy feet logo is blocking the offset. Ah, thank you. Thank you for showing me that. Here, let's move that doodle over here. Move aside, happy feet. Okay, there we go. That's better. But yes, there's the offset. The offset is up here. All this. That's kind of important. Thank you for pointing that out. Happy feet penguin art is in the way of Charles on the right side. So on the right sidebar, your face cam is blocking the offset. And oh, you're right. See, this is why I have you people here. Thank you so much. Okay. I'm going to move it over here. Thank you. Thank you, guys. This is why I do it live. Because if I didn't, I would have recorded that long ass video and then gotten wrecked really hard. There we go. Okay. We're good now. So now you can see it. Okay. So if again, I'm going to hit 11 and 12. See down here, beat offset. It's changing when I hit F11 and F12. So this is a positive because there's no negative sign right here. If there was a negative, that means it's starting super early. Again, if it's positive like this and regular, it's going to start later. So let's listen. And if you hit F7, that turns on assist tick, but you have to be playing the song for it to turn on. Okay, now see how it doesn't sound quite on beat? This is something, okay. I, I, I need to go into something right now. This is really important. Okay, I'm gonna open this up. So on R21 Freak, uh, Mute is a really gifted uh, musician and he creates really good uh, sim files and he's really, on sync he is the king of syncing everyone in the community knows that mute is very talented at syncing he knows his stuff he knows what he's doing um however i sync things differently um anybody is welcome to roast me for this but i i have a very different method i just do it by ear and people think i'm crazy and i totally get it but with that said i've i've played the drums for a very long time and i just i've never it, it's so hard to explain it, I've never had the issue of like hey my step chart is really really off sync and it's noticeable and no one has really come to me I think in the last eight years of being a step artist maybe once or twice someone has told me hey this song's off sync and then I fix it immediately and then I move on from there but if you want to do it very accurately to where you'll be damn sure that it's on sync I highly recommend you go to this uh, link and I'm gonna post it right now in the chat look right here. Here we go. Boom Yeah, there's a couple of times like uh, Right has said that are pretty janky sinking um, And there are actually is funny when I went to step mania 5 I noticed that a lot of stuff uh, that I was stepping from step mania 5 were off sync So I had to go back and fix them. So I stick to open ITG. That's just my preference um, So again, I step by ear That's just me um, and the way I do it is I'll show you right now and then after this I'm gonna show you the pro the proper way to do it or I should say like the more legit accurate way to where you know No questions asked. It'll be on sync. I just don't do it because I just it adds more time to what I'm doing um, I know it's really bad, but that's just me. That's it's just how I do it. It's my personal choice um, Okay, so you hit escape and you're just gonna go down to playback options And what we're gonna do is we're gonna slow down the song Okay, as slow as we can, 0.3x. Okay, uh, new gets, by the way, can you check one of my charts to see if it's on sync whenever you got time? Yeah, sure, I, knew, I, I got you, man, I got you. Okay, we're gonna listen now. It's gonna sound really slow, okay? Now, when this is playing, you can see right there, it's not even, start, the, the clap hit, the note hit before the sound hit. I was gonna say, while it's playing, if you hold, um, if you hit F11 and F12, you can change it right here. And it'll tell you too, down here, notes earlier. So if I go this way, they're starting sooner. If I go the other way, F12, it's starting later, okay? And then after, if you hit escape or it stops from the section you highlighted, it's gonna ask you this. Hey, the BPM or the, the offset has been changed from this to this. Would you like to discard it or save it? And you hit yes or no, yes to save, no to discard it. Okay, so we're gonna discard it. And now let me listen to this. If you hold control and alt, you can even make it uh, pinpointed. Because you can see the numbers here. Look at the difference. That's 20. So we need to make these later by a little, by quite a bit. So I hit it a couple times towards the right for F12. Okay, there. Better. Still a little off. Now, you see how I'm not changing it? And see how it's slowly taking longer to hit on the beat? 
that means our BPM is not correct. Uh, Mute really did this really well. Uh, he says it right here. Let me find it. Um, I mean, honestly, you guys should really just read up on this whole thing. It's very, very uh, informative and very helpful. Uh, I highly recommend it. I posted it in the chat. Um, it's really, really helpful. Uh, so here's a tr yeah, troubleshooting. Is every beat in the chart not matching up with the music file? You need to adjust the offset. That's with F11 and F12. That is how you adjust the, 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 the time that the song is starting and that will help you pinpoint where you need it to be on time. Is the first break beat of the song at the correct position, but the other beats are drifting off? That's what's happening right now. Because if you listen, let's listen again. Right on the spot, right? Now listen. You see how it's slowly getting delayed? That means our BPM, our beats per minute is not correct. So is the first beat of the song in the correct position, but the other beats are drifting off? Adjust your song's BPM. So that's what we're gonna do right now. So if the BPM is a lower number, that means it's gonna take longer to hit the note, right? So that's what's happening right now. So what do we need to do? We need to speed up our BPM. So the BPM is incorrect. I'm gonna go with 175. Could be wrong, but this is trial and error. This is how you find out. So let's listen again. Now, this is another thing. Because we changed our BPM, the offset that we had for the first note now is changed because it's gonna start sooner because now the BPM is slightly faster. So keep that in mind too. We're gonna have to change it. So don't think, oh, it's wrong when you hear the first note isn't correct. You gotta adjust it. Again, control alt and F11, F12. So now it's starting sooner. So now let's make it delay a little. Now let's start again. Let's hear the first note here. Good. I'm just adjusting it accordingly. Okay, now you hear how, listen, listen carefully. You hear how now it's going is slightly too fast. This is good. Um, Unless the song drifts, then that's really bad. But uh, this is good if it doesn't drift, which typically these don't. Uh, this means your BPM is somewhere in between 170 to 175. So now I'm going to go kind of in the middle. I'm going to do 173. Okay. Now let's listen. Again, our offset is going to be off. So now you got to adjust it earlier now. Let's fix that. Okay, is it? It's gonna be a funky number. Let's try 174. It's going too slow now. It's good, hear that? You see how it's consistently on beat? Okay, and now we have a synced step chart. That's how I sync, um, and I will take the chart and put it on my cabinet and beta test it to make sure it feels like it's on sync. Um, by ear, to me, and visually, that sounds correct. Um, now, if you wanna do it the legit way that Mute and most other step artists will do, very few do this by ear. Uh, this is what you need to look into. Uh, let's open this image up. How do I open this up? Open in new tab, there we go. Okay, here we go. Am I covering it? Yeah, I'm covering it a little bit. Oh God, no, not the jar. Oh, why? Oh God. Okay, hold on. Can I, can I hide you? No, I can't hide you. Hold on. There we go. Okay, we're good. Let me catch up on the comments here really quick. God, I want to rewrite the damn audio codec we use in OpenIG. That screech gets me. Yeah, I, I, I feel you, man. I'm sorry. Um, okay. Oh, hey, Lidge, what's up? You made it for a bit. What's going on? Okay. So 
this is an image that Mute used as a reference. So you see how he's highlighting measure 13 right here with his little bars. Um, so wherever you're highlighted, it will show you the current second. This is the exact millisecond, number for number, that you are at when you are highlighting a certain area of the chart. So that's right here, right? Current second, right here. So if I go up, see how it's changing? Where I, this is the part of this is the second of the song that you're at on that measure. So the further up you go, the higher it goes, and vice versa. Okay. So what he's doing is he's using this and taking that audio and putting it in some type of audio software. For this one, it's uh, Audacity. And down below, he's picking the section that's the peak of the bass kick here. Okay. And he's basically lining those up to see. So he's saying, okay, so here, this is the, the beginning of a bass kick, a quarter note of the song. It's at 2177 right here. And so he syncs the song with his offset using F11 and F12 to pinpoint the same second on the beat, the peak of this. Okay. That's how he's doing it. That's how he's sneaking his charts. Um, it's pretty simple, honestly. Um, but again, some people use this method, some people don't. But I recommend you do this and not be lazy like me. Um, the, again, the only reason I've been able to get away with it is because uh, I'm a musician, I'm a drummer. I, I have a pretty uh, good uh, ear for correct rhythms. Um, but even so, I'm not going to be always uh, dead on. Sometimes I will, sometimes I won't. Um, but I've not noticed it. It's very minor, honestly. Um, but that's how you sync a song. This is like the hardest part, honestly, um, arguably. This is where people get very confused. So I really hope that this guide um, so far has helped you understand most of the techiness of getting it all set up. Because everything I've shown you thus far is how you get a step file synced up, titled correctly, and ready to be created. That's all the steps. Now, at this point, it's basically just your imagination and some guides, guidelines you should follow, okay? Um, this is really, really hard to give you a, a guidance on, to be honest with you, um, because it's, it's really just experience. Experience, experience, experience. You really need experience to get this figured out and get a, a good understanding of how to create a step chart. I recommend that you guys join this group here. Um, it's, it's on Facebook, SimFile Showcase. This is a place where you can showcase uh, packs being released or if you make your first step chart or you've already made step charts but you made a new one and you want people to criticize it with constructive criticism, these guys will give it to you. There's over 500 members in here. Uh, it's very helpful. You can even watch other people's step charts here, as you can see, and get kind of an idea of like how they're doing stuff and how it's all working. Um, but it's all with experience. Um, and just talk to people on here. It's very helpful. They're really nice and you'll learn a lot. Um, my, the, the only way I got decent at stepping stuff and the way I molded my, uh, I crafted my mold and like figured out how I wanted to create step charts and kept it pretty consistent nowadays is through trial and error. I made, I've made over a thousand step charts now. I've been doing it for over eight years or so. And I learned a lot just by watching other step charts, um, taking things I liked from them and changing a little bit to my liking more. Um, I, I, that's pretty much it. I, I, I hope it helps you guys. Hey, Gabriel Max just subscribed. Thank you so much, Gabe. Also, hello. Um, as you can probably tell, it's, uh, it's echoing again. And also, I need to turn back on my, my face. Where are you? There we are. Okay. So we move this down. Uh, but yeah, Simfile Showcase, please join that Facebook group if you can. So um, can. Otherwise, new gets is subscribed. Thank you so much for the resubscribe. You're awesome, man. Um, ooh, hold on. I got a comment here. I'm getting distracted. My ADHD is kicking in. Oh, yeah, for those of you who didn't know, Happy Feet, version 3.0, best Happy Feet pack. It is released. Go get it now. Uh, I'm going to give you the link on the chat. Here you go. Have fun. Uh, 22 new songs. I'm getting off topic here. Okay.
Now, back to stepping. So, that plug was smooth. Mm, daddy. Uh, okay. Our thing is synced up and ready to go. Now, let's put it back to regular. Now, if your song is dead on rhythm, but near the end of it, it's starting to slowly slow down or slowly speed up, all you gotta do is go here, where the BPM is on the very top, you hold control alt, and if you hit F11, no, not F11, not F12, I'm sorry, F7, F8, see that? You can do it by 0 0.01, so you can pinpoint it. And honestly, just that right there makes all the, all the difference. If it's slowly sp uh, slowing down, then just speed it up by 0.02 and listen at the end. If it sounds good, great, just leave it. That's uh, Amir Savage. Welcome to the Penguin Squad. Thank you so much. Gabe, it's doing the echo thing again, as you can see and hear. Do you know how to fix that? I did not remember how you did it on the last uh, scene preset scene that we had, because this is our first time doing indoor uh, with the without changing it. Should I release the beta for mine, or wait till I have at least 10 songs? New gets post your 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 videos of your step charts uh, spread out on the Simfile Showcase and let people criticize it. Honestly, and you'll learn a lot. Uh, if people are assholes to you, though, don't listen to those people. There's a difference between constructive criticism and just being a straight-up asshole, being like, this is garbage. Like, that doesn't do you any good. It's, people need to be – you listen to the people who are there to be open and honest with you and give you actual advice. Um, that's a given for most people, but for other people, they, they struggle with that kind of uh, harsh criticism, like myself. Um, but I've learned over the years to just, just in one ear, out the other, ignore it. You just – don't listen to it. All right. Now, the biggest red flag for a bad step chart, at least a, a, a not bad, a sloppy step chart, don't ever put the first note as a down or up arrow, ever. Also, to put your steps in, you hit one, two, three, four simple enough right to remove them you go where they're at so let's say they're here right they're all spread out so you go you highlight your arrows on them and you hit the same numbers that those arrows were again see and if you want to change your note so see how we got two quarter notes here but say i want to add an eighth note in between them how do i do that you hit left or right to change the type of note and you'll see now when i go down it's going down to a 12th note in 12th note rhythm. See, now we can do eighth note. And that's what the beat is. Simple enough, isn't that cool? Okay, so yes, don't ever, don't you dare start <laughs> your step chart ever on the up or down. I, I again, there's, there are these rules. Rules can be broken if done properly. If there's some weird reason you need to start on the up or down, go ahead. If it if you think it works, um, like hell, even if it's a, let me go up here. Even if it's an up or down jump, like this, it's kind of weird because what's after that? You know what I mean? Like, what if it's, what if it's this, for example? Ignore the B, I know it's off, but what if it's that? And what if your fate, you're supposed to, on this part, you're supposed to fate, your body either goes like this, this is where your feet would go, like this, or like this. And you're gonna either face this way or this way. But how are you gonna know which way, which way you're supposed to face? Because it's an ambiguous pattern. It doesn't make sense, you know what I mean? You're, not, you're unsure of which way you're supposed to do the up and down jump. And it's the same exact thing if you're doing this. How do you know which foot to use first? Strawberry Cacti, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Penguin Squad. So, that's why you want to start on the left or right foot. Oh God, I might be, I might gonna do it after straight really I can do it right now, man. No, you're good, Gabe. Don't worry about it. It's, it's a very minor thing. Bram played one of my charts last night and he liked it, so I guess I'm doing something right. That's good, Nougats. That's good. Um, you can do an up down into a left right jump. Up down, like that. You could, um, 
but like visually it looks kind of like sloppy i guess you can say but that's just my opinion you know what i mean don't listen to me uh it's it's whatever you want maybe there's a song where it says up down jump literally and you're like oh that's perfect at the very beginning um that's an example um actually there is a song i think i did it's called up and down where i think it, he goes they in the very beginning it's like up and down up and down and i was following it like that um that's an example um but that's just i personally chose to do that okay so we're gonna start like that now up down jump up down jump yeah or down up jump however you want to do it okay so what i do is i i basically go where it starts again we're hitting space to start the highlight here I'm, i just go down a ton just like that just just so i can cover and i like to listen to the, uh, the, the portion of the song i highly recommend that you listen to a, a good like 10 seconds so let's do that now we're gonna listen okay so i think measure 10 yeah measure 10 is when it starts kicking in so we got basically you gotta try to break it down in your head it's all mental stuff here too this really really it's it's really mental because you're you kind of get overwhelmed you're like man i i need to try to break it down because if you don't break it down it's it's going to be more complicated for you so so the way i'm going to do this is it's going to be jacks like that so da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da. alternate your feet left foot right foot left foot right foot left foot right foot yes yeah, so you're using the same foot twice but you can see left right left right left right left right again this is something where like it's kind of hard to, to to guide you through it because there's so many different ways to step um it's it's just keep keep making charts and keep posting your charts and let people see them and if they don't like something they'll they will tell you and you'll they'll tell you why if they're good at doing constructive criticism and you will learn from it and you'll just keep evolving into a better step artist i promise okay so here now it's adding the hi-hat right so let's listen so there's so many different ways you can do this but for me i'm gonna let me listen to this one more time hmm. okay so this is what i'm gonna do I like that the kick is still doing the d -d 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 but there's an eighth note in there too, or the continuous eighth note. So we're gonna go d -d -d -d. listen. Basically, we're gonna we're, we're keeping it going. D -d -d. Okay, now it changes right here. Ah, see? Look at that. I made a mistake. Let's slow it down. Right there. There's no sound here. This is why you always play it back and listen. Okay, so the rhythm that actually exists here so see how I messed that up and I want to I highlighted the section because I don't want it anymore you highlight it the section you don't want and you cut with me cut there <laughs> that done and it goes done 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 that's the rhythm Oh no. Okay. Now, <clears throat> let's look at our intro here now. Let's speed it up. Also, constantly save. Holy shit. I can't, I can't stress that enough. So many times have I been creating a step chart and I go a long time without saving and it'll just randomly crash. It'll happen to you. I promise you that. So, 
constantly hit escape, go down to save, enter. Like, over and over and over and over again. Please, constantly save. You will regret it if you don't. So let's look at what we have so far. Oh, we need to speed it back up to normal speed here. Okay, P for play. Okay, so now I use two mines in the center um, to emphasize build up or like, hey, this is a new section or hey, here comes more music. Like it's more powerful, if that makes sense. You know, it's kind of quiet and then like you got the brrrah and then on the last, the quarter note hit. Um, that's the other thing too. Oops, I forgot to tell you guys. See how it's kind of crunched in here visually and I can spread it. All you do is you hold control and up and down will spread it however you want but that's what i use two mines for in the center it's you want to kind of do it rarely though only when you feel like it's it's noticeable um there's so many other ways to do this though people do jumps people do like a very tiny freeze arrow like that like that's so kind of like a, psh, a little splash effect um there's so many different ways to do this, honestly. So many different ways. Um, even the 24, some people might even just put a roll. Um, I do that many times, uh, especially at higher BPMs, but all personal preference, seriously. Um, the team go, <laughs> wow, nougats. Wow, the Adobe rule. They're so fun at 170, you love Jack. I like Jacks, I like them, I, I don't mind them. And then more double stepping. Yeah, it's more double stepping because jacks are like kind of fast. Like da, 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 that one DDR song that everyone's playing right now. I was waiting for that new guys. Expand Dawn. You got me, Skimpy. Okay, so. This section, it's pretty straightforward. So the beginning, it's kind of tame, like the same tone, just do 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 do, just kind of like eighth note mellow. So we're gonna put some eighth notes here. The biggest thing too, when you're stepping, is you kind of wanna, this is my rule at least, um, it's pretty globally accepted too. You wanna make it where basically your ups and downs and patterns are always going to determine which way the player is facing. If you go in this pattern here, right, up down which way are we facing right now we're facing to the right our body is going this way right because of this pattern however if i flip these ups and downs literally opposite now play that play that in your head where are we going now we are going towards the left so i try to keep it where the patterns on and i'm not just random it looked like it but i'm not just randomly putting notes in I'm, I'm mentally, I'm uh, imagining the way that my body is turning because if you just place notes randomly, you might make yourself face the, a certain direction too long and that's bad. You don't want to make yourself face too long because then it's just very uncomfortable, very awkward for the player and it's just not a proper way to step stuff. Give me one second because there's someone at the door. I think it's my friends. I'm so sorry. Hold on. Okay, guys, I'm sorry. I have some guests over right now. I have to actually, it's already been past four o'clock and I try to keep my, uh, my streams uh, for podcasts around an hour, maybe an hour and a half tops. But for this one in particular, I wanna keep it at an hour. So I'm gonna have to end the stream. Um, I pretty much wrapped up everything to be honest with you. You've gotten all the knowledge on how to get everything set up and how to put in steps and how to manipulate everything. If for some reason you're ever lost or confused, uh, you can look at a, a guide here. Let me get rid of myself because I'm covering it up down over here. You press escape for the edit menu. 
like so. And you can see all the different options. Just tinker with all of this. And if you hit F1, it'll open up a help menu where you can see all every single combination of buttons on the keyboard that you can use to change something. And then you can hit enter. So escape and enter are your best friends. And F1 if you're lost for some reason. Um, that's pretty much it. That's how you create a step chart. And again, I highly recommend you join those Facebook, that Facebook group sim file showcase. Very helpful. You will learn a lot if you post videos of your step charts. And you're always, honestly, you, I, I, you're, you're more than welcome to ask me if, if you need help with something. So just let me know. Um, that's pretty much it, guys. I, I hope it helped you out. Feel free to ask me questions at any time. Um, and yeah, that's, that's it. I know this is kind of a short stream today. I apologize. But normally the podcasts are an hour to an hour and a half. So it makes sense. Um, bonus stream may come up too. Could be tomorrow. Could be later on today. We will have to just wait and see. Kappa. Do a part two ne uh, next quadcast. I could. I very well could. Um, that might be a good idea, Jellyfish, honestly. Yeah, of course, Zanzibar. And again, guys, I know it was very short, but um, that's just the way it is for the quadcast. It's just for the sake of making the making sure the YouTube video isn't too long for those who weren't able to make it. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, and that's, that's it, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I may do a bonus stream, as I said just now. Uh, it may be later on today. It might be tomorrow. I'm not sure yet. Uh, like I said, I have some guests over. Uh, we're going to be playing some dance games and just eat and hang out and relax. Uh, keep an eye on the Twitter. Uh, join the Discord if you haven't already. And I will see you guys later. Uh, for sure, guarantee is Monday at 3 o'clock. And we're playing Pump It Up in the Penguin Onesie for celebrating the 50th subscriber. So you guys should definitely tune in for that. All right, guys. I will catch you later. Thank you all so much. See you later.